Artist Mzi Gojo literally uses cow dung to create his work. Gojo is a member of Obuhle Bobuntu Beauty of Humanity in Isizulu. Obuhle Bobuntu is a group of artists who use recycled materials and experimental techniques to express their own lives in modern South Africa. In many parts of South Africa, cow dung is used to polish floors and insulate huts. But what about using cow dung to create art? The inspiration I got uh, from um, this rich South African landscape, heritage and culture, that's when the cow dung is getting in. It's like when a man, especially in rural areas, is having like uh, plenty of uh, cattle, that man is regarded as rich. So those cattle produce cow dung, in future it becomes the fertilizer, and the woman also, also like um, uh, uh, treasure it so much. It's like when they are building their houses, to make the, the, the soil to be strong, they, all, they, they mix the soil with cow dung. The artists are all from Soweto, the former heartland of the violent struggle against apartheid. Every artist has his own technique and recycles whatever he can best exploit for his work. Their works have various themes. The Tlokonolom Kasebe, who uses his garage as a studio, spent months developing a technique in which he stacks strips of old car tires together to create a canvas and then cuts into the material to create a black and white image. You find that in one strip of the tire there is some certain journey that the car was taking, you know. Some of the people, they didn't reach their destination. Some they reach like us as artists, you know. This is the medium that uh, gives me that platform to explore my concept and my themes. For Tulani Zondo, it's about thinking out of the box. He makes 3D sculptures using wire and matches. Yeah, I work on a theme called Abnormal Growth in Society. It focuses more on like the education, you know, of what causes cancer, you know, what things maybe we can do, you know, in order to prevent cancer, you know. So basically I chose matches, you know, as a medium, you know, since people are smoking, you know, more and more people are smoking, you know. So I see it as a as our own behavior as an abnormal growth. The intriguing techniques have attracted increasing attention. Their work now graces even public spaces in Soweto. To really show that uh, 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 artists can be creative on whatever materials that they can find, rather than depending on the, on the art materials that they can buy at the art material shops. You know, art materials shops uh, have become very expensive for, 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 for Soweto artists. So they've actually uh, uh, diverted uh, in terms of using their medium by actually using and showcasing that you can all, always find, you know, materials around where you actually living and create, uh, you know, very, very expensive art, art works out of it. The artists hope to reach many with their unique form of art. Yulisandra Mela, CCTV in Soweto.